So network effects is a topic that has been um, written, spoken, and you know, there's a lot that's been said about it. But if you had to summarize it in a nutshell, how would you do that? It's vertical cohorts. So you know, often when people look at cohorts, people are used to looking at you know, I started in this month and how does it decay over over the next 12 months and so on and so forth. There is the first month, whether people call it M0 or M1, it should be called M1. M0 is the month where the person comes in. M1 is the first engagement. In network effect businesses, the M1 starts going up. So 100 people came in the month zero, yeah. 35 came back in month one. Right. Next month, 100 came in month zero, hmm. 40 came back in month one. Okay. So that second 100 is seeing more value than the first 100. Right. That's a network effect. Because essentially they are seeing something by virtue of more people engaged, the whole thing is seeing more value. That's the classic definition of network effect. That's also the definition of a brand, by the way. Because as brand builds, people tend to want to come back. Also the definition of your product is finding more and more salience. But I think the, the ultimate measure of network effects is vertical cohorts. And the best example is, would be Ola Uber, right? So the minute the, if you're, the liquidity in the market was going up and I'm, you're able to find a cap sooner, you would repeat more and that would show up in your first month behavior going up. Yeah. And that's why it's a network effect. Got it. Thanks for tuning in. For more Matrix Moments episodes, you can head to www.matrixpartners.in/blog. You can also follow us on Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube for more updates.